In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to zip up multiple files into one zip file on a Windows computer. A zip file is kind of like a folder full of files, but all the files are compressed together to form one large file. This makes it easier to upload or download or transfer a large batch of files because you're really just transferring one large file instead. To create a zip file, the first thing you'll need to do is select all the files you want to zip. So, if you already have all the files you want to zip sitting together in a folder or all together in one specific location, that will make it nice and easy to select them all. But, if the files you want to zip are scattered all over the place in different folders, you need to go and gather them all up and move them all into one specific location so you can select them all at the same time, because you have to select them all at the same time. So, you could put them all on the desktop, like Timmy did, or even create a folder named files to zip or something, and put all the files you want to zip in that one location, all together. So, it's really up to you how you go about doing that, but you just need to get all the files together, and then, once you've gathered all your files, and they're all sitting in the one place, you'll need to select all the files that you want to zip. So, you can do that in multiple different ways. One option, if you only want to select a few of these files, is to hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then click on individual files that you want to select. So this way, you don't have to select a whole batch of them, you can select the specific files that you want to zip. Or, if you wanted to zip all of these files, you don't have to click on them one at a time. You can click on the top one, like that, then hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and click on the bottom one, and then all the files will be selected like this. And, you can also select folders with files inside them, if you want to. So, we have these two folders up here, and there's files inside the folders, and this folder even has another folder inside that folder. So there's some folders here. And if you want to, you can select these folders just as if they're files, and add them to the zip file. And then those folders and all the files inside them will be added to the zip file. And it will all keep its correct folder structure inside the zip file. So, any files that are currently in uncool files, be inside the zip file inside that folder. So, when you eventually extract the zip file and take all the files out of it, you'll still end up with these folders and all the files organized correctly, exactly the way they're organized now. So, if you want to also select folders, you can, or maybe you just have loose files, it doesn't really matter. But, in this case, Timmy's going to select everything here. So, we'll click on the top folder, hold down shift, and click on the bottom file, and now absolutely everything is selected. And now, regardless of what files you want to select, once you've selected all the files you want to zip, you'll need to right click on one of the selected files. So, it doesn't matter which file it is, just pick one of them and right click on it. So, Tim will right click on this one or something, and you'll just hover over it, either press the right click button on your mouse, or you'll do a two finger click with two fingers at once on a trackpad. And now, this right click menu will appear here. And it is slightly different depending on if you're using Windows 11 or Windows 10. This is Windows 11, so you'll see here compress to zip file, and you click that. If you're on Windows 10, you'll hover over send to, and then you'll click compressed zipped file, but it's basically the same thing. So, whichever operating system you're on, you go ahead and click that. And now, it will start to compress all of these files into a zip file. So, we can see the progress here. If you have a lot of large files, this could take quite a while to finish, but Timmy's only got a few files, so it's not taking very long. And now, it's zipped all of these files up, and put them inside the zip file. So, as we can see here, it's actually taken the name of the file that we right clicked on. So, it's called example presentation.zip, because we right clicked on this. 
you probably don't want to call it that. You probably want to give it a name that actually tells you what's in there. So you can just start typing whatever you want. So you can type something like that. It's already highlighted for you. So you just start typing and then press enter when you're happy with it. And now you have this zip file here containing all of these other files. And these files will still be outside the zip file as well. So it's just copied them all into the zip file. But now you can choose to delete all the files off your computer if you want, and you'll just have them in the zip file or maybe you want to keep them on your computer as well, and you'll send the zip file off to somewhere else. But regardless of what you want to do with it, now you're done. You have your zip file here that you can transfer or upload or do whatever you want with. And that's all there is to it. But if you want to see how to open a zip file on a Windows computer to extract these files back out of it, Timmy has another video on that over here. So. If you want to see that, you'll click on this card over here. Should be pretty obvious what to click on. You'll see it right here. Or if you don't want to watch that video because you don't need to, you can just not watch it. And Tim, we'll see you in a different video soon.